Hello everyone, Yoko Sominasan. I'm Toki Madoshi, and in this video, I'm gonna go through the second episode of Spy Family and talk about some of the differences that I saw between the Japanese audio and the English subtitles. In this one, I decided to use the same subtitles as on Crunchyroll, since most people probably watch the show on there. Then here we go with the first scene. In the very first scene, it may seem that Frankie is using the term spy, even though Anya is in the same room as them, but in reality, he is saying Omae no Gijutsu, and Gijutsu means a skill or a technique, so he's just saying. With your skill, are you not supposed to be able to do something better? オスタニアの要人デズモンドの戦争計画を止めるため、ウェスタリス情報部、諜報員のこの俺に下った極秘任務、名門、イーデン公へ潜り込むべく筆記試験を突破したが。Here in the subtitles, they use the term "wise" to refer to the organization, and I don't know if this is something that really existed. But in Japanese, they use Johobu Chohoin, and Joho means information, Bu is a department, so Department of Information, Choho is secret information, and In is an employee. So it's something like a secret information employee of the information department. And here it's not a big difference, but they use to get into, but they say moguri komu, and it's a little bit more to slip into or to infiltrate, so it has a little bit more nuance to suggest that they didn't use the proper way. Here they say that he'll have to explore his options, but in Japanese they directly use the term konkatsu, which specifically points to doing some activities that could lead to a marriage or a marriage hunting. And the title of the episode is named Secure a Wife. There's a little nuance in the Japanese. They say Tsumayaku, and Tsumai is wife, and Yaku is a role. So it's more about securing someone that has the role of a wife. In this scene where we get introduced for the first time to one of the main characters, Yor, there is something that is often dropped when translating to English, and it's Senpai, which is put after the name of the character, Yoru. And it's an honorific after the name of someone that is used when talking to someone that has more experience than you, or older than you, in school or in your workplace. So since Camila, this character, is using Senpai when talking to Yoru, that means that Yoru has been at this company for longer than Camila. When Camila compliments your face and body, even though there's absolutely nothing wrong with this statement, in the original audio, she used Moto, which is more general, it's something like the basis or the foundation, so her natural state is nice. Something like that. Here it's not a big difference, but they use 
一人暮らし、meaning someone living alone. The subtitle is leaning more on the fact that a woman is not in a relationship, but in the original script, is more about a woman that is living alone. あの、でもこちらに売国クソ野郎殿がいらっしゃると聞きます。Here, Yoru is using the term baikoku, which is selling country. So it's a traitor, but it points more to someone that is selling his country. We can also see here that she adds dono to the nickname that she's giving to them, which is another honorific that you can put after the name of someone, or in this case, a nickname. And it's something that is used when addressing someone really politely. It's often translated to Mr. We really see a little bit more into the character of Yor and how she interacts with other people. She's using really polite form of speaking, even when she's doing her job and killing people. Here, the guy is saying that it's an ambush, but they are using the term zoku, which usually means a thief, but can sometimes be used to describe a rebel. This is pretty much the same meaning with taking your life, and in Japanese, Iki no ne tome sasete. So, Iki no ne is the source of breathing, and tomeru is to stop. So, she's asking if she can stop him from breathing. Komochi batsuichi oke de meemon ni fsawashi iki hingari, yonju hachijikan inai ni tetsuzuki kano na onna. Son na megami ga itara ogan de mitai ne. This is a small difference, but Anya is using Ninkinai, meaning something that is not popular compared to something that is bad. With this scene with Lloyd and Yor meeting for the first time, when he's seeing that his wife died, he uses the term shibetsu, and she means death, to be dead, and betsu means to be separated, so to be separated by death. I think it conveys a little bit more affection towards the other person. So, not only that his wife died, but that they were separated because of death. Like in a marriage vow, until death do us part. This is just a bit of trivia. There's a bag of peanuts, and you can see some writings on it. And it's actually in Japanese. So we have super oishi, and oishi means tasty or something that tastes good. And shio aji, shio means salt, and aji means taste or in this case savor. So salt savor. In the Japanese version of this scene, Yor is giving us some specification about her cover that it was actually Shinkyu Masaji and Shinkyu translate to acupuncture, therefore, acupuncture massage. Here is an expression, Zenwa Isuge, 
that was translated into no time like the present. And expressions are often really hard to translate. Here we have zen meaning virtuous and isuge meaning to hurry. So it comes down to something like the virtuous people can hurry up since they don't have any doubts in their mind. In the English subtitles here, they use do a spark to go along with all the wedding talk, but in Japanese they use tsuzuku kageli. Tsuzuku mean to continue, and kageli as long as. So they are saying that they are gonna stick to the plan as long as they continue doing their work as an assassin and as a spy. So it puts more importance in the reason behind this plan instead of being a real marriage. That was the last thing that I wanted to comment on in this episode. Overall, the translation was pretty accurate and the differences was mostly to show a little bit more the relationships between the different characters. For example, that Yor is always speaking very politely with everyone, even with the people that she's killing. And it's a lot of stuff that is really hard to translate to English, because it has to do with the polite system of the Japanese language, with the different stage of politeness and how to address other people, and also some expressions that you can't always translate. But yeah, in summary, I'd give this translation a rating of A. And I hope that you learned something in this episode too. And I'll see you next time.